Hello everyone, I am Akash Rajpuriya and I would be taking your introduction to machine learning. Okay, so before starting and explaining me what is machine learning and what are the advantages and why we use machine learning, I will explain you first the two images that are there on my first slide of PPT. Okay, so as you can see, there is a small robot learning like a small kid learns from a textbook that is in the background. Okay, so this type of image and second is a robot thinking and solving some maths or any complex problem. Okay, so these are the two concepts which I would be taking today and you will understand that like how a initial stage robot or a newborn robot can be developed to a machine that can think like a human. Okay, so that is basically what is all about today's lecture okay so i would be starting with the next slide that is the learning process okay so learning is a skill acquired by any living organism okay it can be plants it can be human or it can be animal like plants learn a photosynthesis process like how to respond to a light okay a monkey learns to peel a banana and a human learns to ride a bicycle that is simply called as learning so learning can be defined as acquisition of knowledge skills exp through experience or through study okay so if a, a plants can learn animals can learn a human can learn why can't why can't a machine so that is all about introduction to machine learning that is to make machine independent that can learn and that can solve complex problems like a human can so to mimic a machine as a human so there is a flow in teaching that is in machine learning so how to make a machine learn like a newborn baby okay so it first we will make him learn then like a human uh, do some prediction for example you will be giving a test so you will be testing your learn what you have learned you will be testing that same way a machine will also learn uh, this will predict what it has learned okay so that is uh, testing of a machine and then based on that testing it will improve okay so this is a flow of test, uh, learning that is common in every living organism Okay, so it learns by some testing procedure or some what you called as mistakes. Okay, so yes. Now next is how is uh, what how we can make a machine learn. Okay, so this first step is to make a machine learn. That is and how it is different from traditional programming. So you have learned for example SQL and Python and you have seen their programming that is called as machine programming. But we are not into machine programming. We would be learning what is machine learning. So how to make a machine learn that is simply uh, as you as I have told you in the first slide a machine will learn as a new kid born in this world learns that is by giving it the example so if you want to make a kid understand how a cat look like a newborn baby so you will not tell him if you find two eyes if you find two legs or four legs and one tail then say or print cat you will not do it in this way so that is called as traditional programming or a simple computer program you on the other hand you will give that kid a picture of a cat or will you will show him a cat and tell him that this is this is how a cat looks and the kid by default uh, I recognize what are the eyes what are the legs what are the tails okay so in this way a kid learns same the same procedure will be copied uh, to a machine learning you will show a cat image and a cat as a label to a machine learning and machine will learn key how by themselves how cat eyes looks or how tail looks okay so why machine learning so just uh, imagine if you have used the first approach that is this one if eyes are two legs are four and tail is one if this approach is used in machine uh, to make machine understand how a cat looks so machine would never be able to differentiate between a cat and a dog because both the things are same that is machine who has to 
uh, by default uh, take the features which are unique between a cat and a dog okay so for that you will use machine learning like you teach a kid okay just by giving image and a label so that is how traditional approach is different from a machine learning approach you will give the so you can see there is an input there is an output okay and you will give that to a computer and computer program will give you a software called as cat recognition in which it has by default understood how a cat eye looks how uh, the cat legs look likes and how a cat to in total look like okay so i think the basic difference between traditional approach and machine learning approach is clear to one and all and yes so that's what i explained you a computer that teaches computer okay a computer program that teaches computer how to program themselves that we don't have to explicitly describe how to perform the task we want so if i want a task like cat recognition i should not explicitly define my eyes legs and tails okay so computers should by default learn that okay so that is called as machine learning simple like that information that a machine learning algorithm so we want this algorithm in response so this is the uh, machine learning algorithm that is cat recognition as you can see here okay so we for this to get cat recognition machine learning algorithm we need to write a program so program has a set of known example nothing just like a newborn kid needs some example to be learned from same way a computer needs a example to be learned from okay it so the input to a machine learning is now a data and output so it is totally different from traditional in traditional you give data and you give algorithm for example my data uh, is i want to sort a list of 10 numbers so my 10 integers would be a list okay and algorithm would be which i think he it should uh, first check two numbers then check next two numbers so this is algorithm okay so defining a logic is algorithm that in traditional i have to give data and algorithm and it will give me a shortest uh, number of the list okay so this is basic traditional approach but in machine learning it would be totally opposite i will be giving a list of 10 numbers 1 to 10 and for example 10 to 20 and i will giving him the output the, the machine learning algorithm i will giving the output so that the shortest number out of this list is 10 so computer will give me the program or algorithm which uh, which can sort or which can give me the shortest number okay so this is the basic difference between machine learning algorithm and a traditional in traditional you give uh, the algorithm your logic you give your logic and in machine learning machine gives you logic because machine learns like a human okay so in machine learning there are basically three types that is in three types are how we can teach a machine so you can teach machine in basically three types that is supervised unsupervised and reinforcement okay so very easy and with examples you can understand quickly okay so up till now we have learned that the machine learning is teaching like a kid as a newborn kid is uh, taught same way a machine is taught with given examples with a set of examples nothing else than that okay and by default machine is capable to give you the algorithm that is called as machine learning algorithm and to teach machine we have three types supervised okay so supervised is like the first a kid goes into a school in which teacher supervise a new learner uh, hence it is called as supervised learning in which a kid has a teacher or a supervisor on top of him if a student does something wrong teacher will correct him so in the same way here teacher is a label so label will correct a machine learning algorithm so if you have two images cat and a dog and each have a label cat first image is cat and first second image is dog okay so by a mistake if your algorithm make a mistake and give label one as dog that is which is cat by default so uh, there your accuracy will decrease and this acts as a supervise so there is something that supervise that 
uh, whether the answer is correct or not. If it is correct, then go ahead. If it is wrong, again go back, make some changes in your learning and improve the accuracy and predict that this is a right label. Okay, so once the algorithm is excellent, for example, on a test, it got 10 on 10, then the teaching is stopped. Same way as a uh, student after going to 10th, for example, the supervised teaching is stopped. Okay, then there is example of unsupervised. So here we don't have a, a, a supervisor. That is, we don't have a label. As I told you, supervisation means a label, which will tell if it is correct or not. In this, there is no supervisation. Okay, no labels at all. So how it will figure it out? You have a data set of, for example, this Disney characters, and you give it to a machine learning algorithm. Machine learning algorithm. So now unsupervised task is you don't know anything about this. Just based on these features, machine learning will by default get what is right. Oh, sorry, what is different from the other. For example, this is a mouse. This is a rabbit and this is this three are ducks. So based on the features like the shape of their uh, mouth and the shape of their uh, what you called as ears based on this some examples by default machine will be able to recognize uh, which is from a similar group. So as you can see this three are similar and uh, this is different and this is different. So it has created three different groups. In this way, machine will uh, learn without supervisation because you don't explicitly mention that these are ducks, these are mouse, and this is a rabbit. I have not mentioned it. I have only given this bulk of data and by the features, it has uh, make the group. If the, it has not given the label, you can give the label, but it will give you output in this way. That is called as clusters. Okay. So this was the second method. And the third method is just learning from mistakes as a human do. Okay. So if you uh, like Bachpan mein agar aap uh, kuch mitti khate ho ya for example, if you lick your finger okay so what do what uh, uh, indian parents do they uh, uh, taste the mirchi powder on your finger okay so you will not leak that once you lick that because you will find it very uh, hot or uh, you will find it very annoying okay so you will not lick it again so by mistakes like you have understood if i lick it will create a problem for me Okay, so by understanding this, you don't repeat that mistake. Same way, the reinforcement learning works. For example, you create a machine learning algorithm for Pac-Man. It will uh, go for finding a diamond, but the best path, just by learning the mistake. If it, if it encounters a enemy, okay, if it encounters an enemy, its points will be deducted. So next time it will make sure that if enemy come, I have to change my way. Okay, so in this way, it will learn the best path by mistakes. Okay, so that was a great introduction of how, what is machine learning, how it learns. So basically it uh, uses this cycle. That is, it will learn. Okay, as I told you in the first image, the kid is learning now. Once the learning is completed, this learning software is used to predict something like an expert is. So, for example, you are learning some algorithms or you are a kid and you are learning to play a cricket. So, once you have learned it, you will use it in a future uh, in unpredicted ways. Like, for example, you don't know. Uh, uh, you will use it. Uh, so cricket example will not work in this sense. For example, you are learning something and you have mastered it. So you will use that mastery to explore new ideas in it. Okay. So for example, a professor learn starting from learning English, he will use his learning to, to create a new algorithm that would be useful for human mankind. Okay. So same way, uh, once a task is completed. For example, we are working on cat recognition. We have developed a software. It is predicting right values. We will make sure that we use this software to predict uh, the values, which we don't know. For example, we will give a monkey label to a monkey image to it. And your cat recognition software should be able to 
predict that it is not a cat so that is a journey of that uh, that is demonstrated in the first image as you can see the robot is thinking now once it has developed the mindset or uh, it has developed a learning okay so i think i have covered the basic of introduction to machine learning thank you and we will see some coding part in the next lecture till then bye bye take care